The Airline Departure Delay Prediction Project for CLS 109 is conducted by Alex Wang, Dave Doi, and Michael Tashman. The background: Why is this problem important? Flight delay costs in the airline industry eight billion dollars a year, and for passenger, it's even more—nearly seventeen billion dollars. So, what can people benefit from it? Accurately predicting airline delay allows airline to proactively identify potential causes and find ways to alleviate such causes. And for passengers, they can be mentally prepared and reduce stress and anxiety due to the uncertainty of delay. So, how busy is the airline operations in the United States in 2008? On that year, the average daily flight is 19,000, and the average flight time is two hours and seven minutes, which is equivalent to the length of a movie Jurassic Park. The average flight distance, 726 miles, is the distance between Chicago and New York City. Southwest has the highest daily operation, and United and American has the highest average departure delay and arrival delay. The goal of this project is to use two methods to predict flight departure delays. The first one is traditional domain data associated with delay. The data include flight data, airport demand data, and weather data. The second one is to use social media posts to refer to flight delays. So the finding: when modeling the performance, random forests outperform SVN for using the domain data method. And then, when using Twitter sentiment analysis to predict flight delay, SVN outperforms random forest. The features: the following features are critical to flight delay prediction: traffic volumes, temperatures, scheduled flight duration. Our model is able to predict on-time flight departures with 91% accuracy, and from the tweet sentiment analysis, we believe it is possible to infer flight delays from tweets.